Editing a book is very similar to editing an author. The user clicks on the book in the table, makes the changes in the form, hits the edit button and the book will be saved. Now to begin with the functionality for editing a book, we first create an event handler for when the mouse is clicked or on the table. So we right click on the table, click on hover over events, mouse and then we're going to create an event handler for mouse clicked. Now the mouse clicked method for table books is very similar to the mouse click button for the book's author. We start off by creating a v integer variable called row num and we populate this using the get selected row method of uh, table books. So the get selected row returns an integer that uh, that shows the row that indicates the row that's currently been selected. All right, then we use row num to acquire the ID of the selected book. Now, if you'll recall, looking back at the design of our uh, table, we have five columns, all right? And the first column we had reserved for the book ID. And the book ID column, we subsequently hid away because we don't want the user to be able to see that, all right? But that's still visible to Java. So what we're doing is we're using the table books get value at. Now the get value at method, it takes in two parameters. The first one is the row number. The second one is the column number and it returns an object. So it returns the object that's in a specific row and a specific column, basically uh, the intersection of a row and column. All right. Hence, because it's an object, we have to convert this object into a string. And then we take the string and we convert it into an integer using the integer.parseInt static method of the integer class. And we take that and we store it into selected book ID. Now, as you can see, we are not declaring selected book ID here. We're simply setting it. Selected book ID has been declared as a class level variable, a class level integer variable. Now, the reason we decided not to set it in here and to make it a class level variable is so that this variable becomes accessible to other methods, particularly in this case, the edit method, as you'll see later. All right, then we populate our two text fields, the JTF book title and the JTF book edition. That will be these two uh, text fields, the title and edition. The next thing that we're going to do is to set the combo box to show the author of the selected book. It won't default to the first author in the list. It will show the author of the selected book. All right, how do we do that? Okay, firstly, we need to get the ID of the author of the selected book. Now, again, if you'll recall, our book has uh, five columns, although it shows, four, uh, shows up four columns here. It has five columns and the last column was reserved for the ID of the author of the selected book. All right, so that's what we are going to retrieve. So again, we're going to use the get value at uh, method of table books, of TBL books. And this time we're going to use the row num, which we set there, as well as four. Now four is the index number of the last column. Remember, this is a zero indexed uh, element. In other words, the first column in the table is column zero. And because there are five columns, the last one is uh, column four. Obviously, just as we did before, we call the toString method because what we're getting back is an object. So object.toString. And then we take the string, convert it to an integer and store it into author ID. So now we have the ID of the author of that book. Now, once we have the ID, we can retrieve that author from the database. Again, an entity manager factory, which is used to get uh, to create an instance of uh, the JPA controller class for author and now we're going to use that controller to find the author to retrieve the author with the ID author ID all right and now that we have the author we're going to use the combo boxes set selected item now the set selected item requires an object and and remember an author is an object because of inheritance so cb book author dot sell set selected item item author what this will do is it will replace whatever is the current value in the combo box to whatever is the uh, the name and surname of the author now how do we know it's going to output the name and surname of the uh, author of the selected book simple 
because of the two string method of the author that we said earlier on. Just to refresh, if we go to authors.java, we we'll see that the two string method is set to return the surname plus a comma and a space plus the first name of the author. All right, let's run this and see what's the outcome. All right, so we go to the books tab and we click on a book. So you can see that Dean Koons is selected. Let's click on 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and the author is Jules Verne. We see 20,000 under the Leagues Under the Sea. The edition number is set and the author is set. Bleak House, Charles Dickens, same story. The uh, author, the title, auth uh, edition and author are all set. The next step is to create the edit functionality. What happens when the edit button is clicked? Now once the user clicks on a book, makes all the changes, the next thing the user will do is to click the edit button. And the edit button is uh, what will actually store whatever the user has done into the database. So let's uh, take a look at the code for the edit button. As you can see, the code for the edit button uh, for, uh, for editing a book is very similar to the code for editing an author. All right, we start by getting an entity manager factory and a book controller, and then we retrieve the book. Which book do we retrieve? We get the book whose ID is selected book ID. Now remember, this is a variable that was set when we clicked on the table. When the user clicked on the table, the table, uh, we retrieved the selected book ID and we stored that in a class level variable. And now that variable becomes available to this method. So once this uh, variable is available we simply use it to find the correct book using the book controller and we store that into uh, the book variable type now we set the book's title from the text field this book's edit uh, edition from the text field and we also set the book's author now where did we get the author from we got the author from the combo box Remember when the user clicked on the table, we populated the combo box with the author of that book. Now we're simply retrieving the author that was set in that combo box. All right, the next thing we do is we call the book controller dot edit method, not the add or not the insert or create uh, method. Now this is done between try and catch blocks. Now if you are like, like myself you're a bit lazy to uh, type out the try catch block you can let netbeans do it for you automatically let me show you how that's done let's delete this let's say i type book controller dot edit book all right at the moment i i've uh, set my focus out of that line i can see that there's a line there there's a red line and in the margin it's showing me there's an error all right. When I uh, hover over that error, it says unreported exception uh, must be caught or declared uh, to be thrown. Okay, so that means that tells me that there needs to be a try catch block here. So I simply click somewhere on the word book, press alternate and enter on my keyboard. All right. NetBeans gives me an option to surround the statement with a try catch block, which I'll go for. Hit enter. And there we have it, a try catch block created for us for free by uh, NetBeans. Once the user uh, or the book has been uh, saved by the user, the next thing we need to do is clear the text uh, fields and we need to finally bind the books table so that the, the, edi the edits that the user has just made will now reflect uh, in the new table. And we also set the variable selected uh, uh, book ID to minus one. The reason we do this is to verify uh, that when the user clicks the edit button that there has in fact been a book selected. I'll show you how to do that later. All right, so I've made the changes to the code and now I've uh, run my app. Let's see if everything is in order. So I go to the books tab and I select an author or a book rather. Let's say a story so now it becomes the text field becomes highlighted let's say I change it from a story to another story 
make additional changes and now I click the edit button. Now the instant I do that another story addition changes and the author becomes Huck Finn.